Hello, welcome along to another Quick and Dirty. We're here at Silverstone this week. This race is actually from back in May when, for some reason, I'm quick at Silverstone. I don't know why, but I'm in the middle of I'm in the middle of a lot of cars here who are generally a lot faster than me. Go that way. take it up here on the home straight. You'll see that the first thing I do here is lift, dab at a brake and onto get out onto this curb. Turn in halfway along that curb to get myself through this corner. You can you can just if you time it right you don't need the brake but when there's a car in front of you you're going that bit faster. You can stay on the power then through this corner and gain nice and tight to the, the white line here. Don't want to run too wide there because you want to get in and brake at the start of this curb section. Cross the white line and start turning in. Really want to pause it here. There's there's a dip here in at the curb and once you go over there's a ridge here in the middle of the road if you go wide there at all you can see where if you end up over where this guy here, here is you're going to have a bad time trying to make the next corner so, see here I get to the middle of the road and that's me through the next car around you know. You could even go a bit wider there if there was no one. We weren't in a battle. We belt down the Wellington straight here. So you're breaking halfway between the sign and the star of the curb. And basically stay wide for a late apex you take that as the apex oh a little speed boost there get across the the back of the curb there and that should get you into this position here where you can again try for a second late apex leave it a double late apex it's important to get it a good exit here. If you're onto the the back straight. Not a lot of visuals on this one. Everyone's so far away. Go back through that corner again. Your only real reference point here is the curb runs the whole way down the straight. So here, about a car's length before the the change from tarmac to asphalt or whatever it is, get on the brake and get your nose into the curb. And just wait for that in the understeer and try and if you get the nose into the curb early enough, you should understeer out and get cut and then catch grip again on the, on the outside of the corner. So you see here, you're coming in here in your top gear sixth. So what I'm going to do is, at the, the apex of this curve here, just snap the brake really hard and then turn into the corner. and get on the power early before you actually hit the curb. Same kind of idea again, hard on the brake and powered. You get on the power, lift your nose up over the curb. Same again, brake, 
turn on the power over the top of the curve. Under quite a bit of pressure here on <laughs> a 488 behind. Most people will be able to recognize themselves. So I love this corner, still. Go back, just go back and watch that again. It's a great spot to overtake because. don't need to be right out you can you can get up inside people here like I do here it's just hard on the brakes just as you let off the brake and then you find the grip drift through the corner ideally you would have started a bit wider there and got a better apex but the heat of battle, it is what it is. I was trying to stop Kapirski here going up the inside. Don't name any names. Oh. I usually roll over the top of this, lift, roll over the top, and then back on the bar. Careful, very, very slippy. Get yourself to the end of this curve and turn in. Get as much of this curve as you can, otherwise you'll run wider. You just leave her run for another lap here. Gain a nice bit of lap time if you're getting a tow around this track. At least four or five straights. There you have it, Silverstone, could be my last race here on a little screen, don't know how well VR will go, like in a lot of these videos what I'm doing is giving um, kind of static reference points, so say for example this crane that pops up here as soon as this passes the A pillar, you know you can get fully on the power. So we kind of. I'm hoping with VR it'd be a more natural driving style, but 
No, still. We learned a lot from driving with a fixed head mounted on a stick in the middle of the car, unable to move. Blinkers on. But, um, yeah, there you have it. Thanks for watching. See you on the next one.